Dopinder. Pool. Dead. Why the fancy red suit, Mr. Pool? Oh, that's because it's Christmas Day, Dopinder. And I'm after someone on my naughty list. You're probably thinking, this was a superhero movie, but that guy in the suit just turned that other guy into a kebab. Surprise, this is a different kind of superhero story. A scientist named Ajax, as played by Ed Screen, transforms actor Ryan Reynolds, playing Wade Wilson, as the main character known as Deadpool. The experiment leaves Deadpool with a sick and twisted mind. He uses his new skills to prey on the man who changes his life. This is a science fiction film that lasts for an hour and 48 minutes. 760.3 million tickets were sold, and majority of the people who have seen this movie have enjoyed it with a rating of an 8.3 out of 10. This movie is rated R. If we believe there's even a 1% chance that he is our enemy, we have to take it as an absolute certainty. The greatest gladiator match in the history of the world. God versus man. Day versus night. You're psychotic. That is a three-syllable word. Superman, played by Henry Cavill, and Z.O.D., played by Michael Shannon, battled against each other. Superman was called a threat to humanity, and this is when Batman steps in. Batman wants to get rid of Superman. This is another science fiction film and lasts for two hours and 33 minutes. Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, sold... 851.6 million tickets and is rated PG-13. This is the town I love, a neighborhood of family and friends. You know how we do Southside Chicago, baby. Chicago yes, baby. And right here at the heart of it all is where everyone comes together. The barbershop. What's up, homie black folks? Uh, 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 uh. Who wants some gangsta grub? That who's hopping in one fleek last time. Did she just say fleek? There's a whole dictionary full of words. There's a library down the street. You won't see fleek in there nowhere. <laughs> he funny. He make me laugh. It is a hard economic time in South Chicago. Ice Cube playing Calvin and Regina Hall playing Angie combines their barbershop and beauty salon into one business. It is now Battle of the Sexes. Calvin also is worried about his son's future because of all the crime that is going on. The cast comes together to take their neighborhood back and make it how it used to. This is a comedy film that lasts 1 hour and 52 minutes. 36 million tickets were sold with a rating of 6.2 out of 10. This movie is rated PG-13. Have you seen Deadpool? Yeah. What did you think of Deadpool? Uh, Deadpool was okay. Why? Why was it just okay? Uh, the characters were, I don't know. <laughs> Have you seen Deadpool? No, I haven't. Have you seen Deadpool? Nope. Have you seen Deadpool? No. I have. What did you think of Um. It was just a fun, exciting movie to watch, I guess. Have you seen Batman vs. Superman? No. Have you seen Batman vs. Superman? Oh, yeah, I've seen that. I'm, that's a good movie on oh, God. Go see that movie. What would you rate it? One to five. Ten. <laughs> Can I ask you a few questions? Um, have you seen the movie Barbershop 3? No. Have you seen Barbershop 3? No. What's your favorite Barbershop 1 or 2? 1, because I haven't seen 2. <laughs> have you seen Barbershop 3? No, I have not. Have you seen Barbershop 3? No. Have you seen Barbershop 3? Who? Barbershop 3? No. Okay, why would you like to see it? Oh, because it got all my favorite actors in it. Have you seen Barbershop 3? Yeah, I did. What did you think of it? Oh, it was really good. Um, what would you rate it at, out of a 1 through 5? 4.5. Why? Because it was okay. Really? Have you seen Barbershop 3? Yes, I have. Uh, I thought it was a very inspiring movie as far as, you know, how to um, change our community as far as um, 
violence and just the positive impact the movie can have on, on our community as far as the, the youth and education and peace. So clearly nobody has seen these three movies. I guess they're not in, as interesting. Um, most people have seen Barbershop 3, but not Deadpool or Batman versus Superman. I'm Tyler Lamar reporting for South High.